hello guys in this video we are going to create a slide show with images we are going to add the previous and the next button number on the top left corner and we are going to add the caption text on every image so by clicking we can change the slide and it will also have the auto slide show so all the source code for this tutorial is on github you can go and see yourself go to the github.com slash tech classes so let's start we have our html tag inside that inside our head tag we have some meta and name viewport and with the content width is the device width we are going to link our style sheet that is the style.css and that is in the same folder and so we are defining the path of our style sheet style.css next inside our body tag we are going to define a div container that is a slide show container we are giving it the class name slide show container and inside this div tag we are going to define a div v tag which has a div tag which has two classes my slides and fed this div tag contains three things one is the number text which is showing on the top left corner of our image second one is our image which has the source is the image path that is we are going to define source of our image path that is the image one dot jpg that is in the same folder and we are going to define its style width is 100 percent and third one is the text writing the text caption text or anything you want on the first image so similar to our this first container we are going to define three other div elements we have three images in our slide so so we are defining two other div can div elements or slide show elements so similar to this we have two others and the second one's number text is 2 by 3 and the source of our image is image2.jpg and same thing for our third image the next one is our we are defining a two but previous and next button so on click previous and next button we are going to call a function that we will define in our javascript and call it the plus slide which take a number minus one or plus one and these are the ASCII code for the left and right arrows write these codes and it will be look like these left and right arrows next code is for our dots that is below our slide so for dots we are defining the style is text align center and on click every dot it calls a function current slide so which take one argument first second or third which dot we are clicking and last one is the we are adding our script file end of our body tag so let's go to our style sheet what we are defined here is the body font is the font family is the word on our sense serif margin is zero that's for that is for the complete our body and for the my slides display is none so all our slides initially display will be none and for our slide so container so i am defining here maximum width is 1000 px so my maximum width of slide so is 1000 px you can define anything you like and for the previous and next I'm defining the cursor is pointer and top is 50% so my next and previous and next are 50% below from the top so they will be middle in the vertical side color is white and font size is 18 px and weight font weight is bold so I'm defining the border radius is I am defining the border radius top left is 0 
top right is 3px bottom right is 3px and bottom left is 0 and for the next this will override the border radius of next class so its radius are the like reverse of this so top and bottom left radius are 3px and top and bottom right radius are 0 so you can see on our previous this the top right and the bottom right has radius and all top left and bottom left radius are 0 and reverse for this top and bottom left has radius and top and bottom right has 0 radius on that corner there is 0 radius but this corner it has radius 3px on the previous and next when hover effect background color change to black for our text class the color is close to white and font size is 15px you can adjust all these according to what you like and text align to the center and for our the number text which is showing on the top left of our image color is close to white and padding is top and bottom is 8px right and left is 12px for our dot classes cursor becomes pointer cursor is pointer and height and width is 13px and folder radius is 50% which makes our doors a complete circle so these are circles otherwise they will be a square so display is inline block that make the display to the inline for the active class and dot hover effect we get some background color that is more black for our fade class we are adding animation that is fade and duration of animation is 1.5 second and this is a direct animation but adding the web kit ensures that it works in different browsers it support all browsers almost so and the kprem for fade we are adding so opacity from 0.4 to opacity 1 and direct is we are without the web kit without the web kit opacity 0.4 to 1 i'm finding one more extra feature like a power device screen size is below 300 px then our font size is also becomes less like 11 px something now go to our script.js file we are defining a variable that is a slide index which slide we are showing currently next we are going to define a function so slides by click which takes in argument slide index slide index that is the which image it is going to show so inside our this function we are getting all the elements by class name my slide set it into our variable slides so remember this is not just one element this is an array of elements and same for our dots dots are is the array of elements with the class name dot so dots is all the dots and slides is all the slides array here we are checking some conditions if our n is greater than slides dot length then set it again to 1 or if our n is less than 1 means 0 then set it again to the last image so for all our slides we are make sure this style display becomes none and for all our dots we are making sure that it don't have any active class so, so we are replacing active class to nothing and the last one is the slides we are taking from this array slides so the index of slide index minus one dot style dot display become blue we are giving it an argument slide index minus one because in array index start from zero not from one so it will always start like zero one two not from one two three image 
so for our all the slides it will be the index will be like 0 1 2 note 1 2 3 and same for the dots index start from 0 so we have to add minus 1 in our slide index so its class name becomes active for the current slide index and these are other functions plus slide which add slide index plus that argument that is n is like plus 1 or minus 1 whichever is coming depending on we click previous or next uh, so it just add plus 1 or minus 1 and, and the current slide when click on dots this function will be called so and this will give just which dot is clicked so it's just call the so slide by click with the number which dot is clicked so if we check our slide so all the click previous and next and on click dots are working now we are going to add the auto slide so so we just add a function so slides so what this function does is just increase our slide index by one and call our function so slide by click with this increased slide index and this function will call itself every after three seconds like three thousand millisecond in every three seconds this function will call itself and it will increase slide index by one and it will call the slide so by click function so it's like clicking on next 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 on after every three seconds so we just call this function on script load so if we reload our page it will auto slide in after every three seconds and our previous and next is also working so we can change our text and the caption text and that's it so this is our slide so very simple without security and a minimum code that is required so i hope you like this video so all the source code for this tutorial is on github you can go and see yourself go to the github.com slash tech classes and if you have any queries or suggestions please let me know into the comment section below and thanks for watching try it yourself